Hey kids, how you doing today? Listen, I'm glad you're here, or I hope you're here. I want to remind you of our summer theme, and our summer theme is Imagine Your Story. So this week what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making recycled bookmarks. These are the materials you should have been collecting on your scavenger hunt. So as you're doing that, imagine your story that you are creating, you're a scientist, you're a recycler, you're uh, an artist as you're doing each of these activities, okay? So a reminder to you, let's get started. We need to make sure we have some scrap paper, any kind of scrap paper, old bills, construction paper, books, wrapping paper, anything you might have around your house. A bowl, some warm water, a sponge, and we want to make sure that you have, I have cloth napkins, but you can use a towel. Don't use paper because this will stick to the paper and it'll ruin your bookmark. You want to have a tray, I just have a cookie tray here. If you have a hole punch, that'd be great. And any other kind of decorating items that you may want to use when you're done. I have some ribbon, some glue, some stickers, seeds, and things like that. So now we know what we need, let's get started. So we're going to take the paper, just cut it up, rip it up, chop it up, however you want. It's kind of fun. I mean, sometimes just get in there and rip stuff. It's one time in your life where you don't have to make sure everything's perfect. You just chop, chop, chop. Cut, cut, cut. The one thing that'll really be helpful is if you make your pieces very, very small. And you just want to use paper. I have old envelopes here. But if it has that little window, you don't want to use that because that is not paper. That won't break down. So you've got it all chopped up into nice little small pieces. And truly, you can add a lot more than that. But for the video, we're just going to show that to you. Take your warm water, and you want to pour enough in there so that it covers it. And you want warm water because it helps to break the paper down. And once you, what you're going to do is let that set for an hour, a couple hours. And when you're done, what you're going to actually come up with is what we call a pulp. And it gets very messy. And the more colors you add to, or the different colored paper you add, will make it more colorful. Or you can stick with one color. So now you've got your pulp. It's kind of gooey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. You could squeeze it if you wanted to, but what I've found is I just kind of take it wet like that and I put it on my tray, on my napkin, and I kind of shape it. Because when I was squeezing it, when I was squeezing it, what happens is it kind of gets really um, bulky and then it's kind of hard for me to shape it. So you can squeeze it if you want, get some out of there, and then lay it on your tray make your shape and I have different colors of paper and I've got I actually have a little bit of glitter in there too I'm going to take put it on here and then press it down Kind of shape it into the size that you're going to want to have. You know, your normal bookmark might be about four to five inches long. Don't worry about if it's not perfect or not. So you're going to take your napkin and you're going to cover it. I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to press on it and absorb as much of the water as I can. I'm going to wring it back out in your bowl. Go over it. Squirt, squeeze it out. Keep in, as you're doing this, you'll notice how much more water you're picking up. And as you're doing it, you notice there's less and less water, which means you've probably gotten enough off of there. So what I do is I'll put it away in a safe spot for a couple of days and let it dry. Um, the other day I took one and I put mine outside in the sun on the table because it's so hot. It literally dried in a day, but if it's in the house, it'll probably take a couple of days, okay? So when you're done, you have your final piece of paper over here. So there you go. You're going to have it here. 
When you go to take it off, you're going to want to take it off very carefully. What I did is I put my fingers under here and I lifted it because it will stick onto the bottom. So do it very, very gently. So I have two pieces here and some of my edges are a little rough. So you could leave it like that if you wanted or cut it. Now I use construction paper, so my pulp and paper is a little thicker. So you just gently try to cut your edges off. If something happens where it does bend or break or start to crack, just take some tape and put it over the broken area and it'll help to keep it from breaking all the way. If you're doing all that work, you're going to want to keep your bookmarks. So I just kind of cut them. Make the shape you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about what you like. So here I have my little bookmark. I can take the scissor and poke a hole, or I can take a hole punch and poke my hole. If you have a hole punch, I'll be honest, it's a lot nicer. But I have done it with the scissors. So there's my hole. Then I'm going to take my ribbon. If you want to put ribbon through it, just poke your, poke your ribbon, any ribbon that you want. Run it through it. And tie your knots. Probably do it twice so you get a nice secure knot. There's your edge. There you go. And then what you can do is you can take a permanent marker and you can decorate it up. Write whatever you want on here. Read, believe, any fun special words that you enjoy. If you want to put words on there, you can. But a permanent marker will work a lot better because it's not going to wash off and it won't bleed and it won't run. So I've got read, my word. I can take a sticker if I want. These are stickers that I just had around my house. They're peel off backs, which will be nice and easy for you. So you just take that, put it right at the top. You, I also have little googly eyes if I wanted to put glue some googly eyes on top of there. So that's the beginning and you can get as creative as you want with your bookmarks. These are a couple examples that I created. Read. I do have my eyes on there. And your ribbons can be as fun as you want. Oops, he's hiding on them. There we go. These for the this one is a little more for the 4th of July. And imagine, which is our summer theme. So those are your bookmarks. Now there is one more activity that you could do with this if you had some extra pulp. And that is what I call kind of a seed pod. If you have extra pulp, you can take your pulp into your hands and you can take some seed whatever seeds you have, put them in there, mix it up, make a nice little ball, smash it together, and you're going to take it, and you're going to put it, let's put it back on, let's put it on this one. So right now, you can just put it there, it'll dry with the seeds in there, cover it, do much else with it and when you're done you can have a little pod like this it's uh, made out of the pulp so you're going to take this and you can bury it in your yard or in a pot cover it water it the water or the paper which is the pulp will dissolve and then what you'll get is you'll get a nice little plant that'll grow out of there so I hope you had some fun today being creative 
with recycling materials and seeds. Hopefully you'll be reading some of our newer books here that we have in the library. So I want to remind all of you to go to our website for next week. Because next week we're going to be exploring chemical reactions with baking soda and vinegar. You'll go to the website and we'll provide all the materials that you're going to need for next week. So I hope you had a good time today. Looking forward to seeing you next week and everybody have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.